So now we're going to look at distance between a point and a plane. So again, we'll start with a picture. Here's a plane. Point, we'll assume is not on the plane. We'll go with P for the point. All right, so the plane, when we're given a plane, we're given it with a point, P naught, and a vector, and normal. All right, all we're going to do is find this vector. P, I think we used P naught P before. So I'll draw it that direction, P naught P. And all we need to do is project. We're going to project P naught P onto N and find the magnitude. So we're going to project P naught P. onto n, and take the magnitude, using that projection equation, the dot product, divide by the magnitude of n squared, and then you multiply by n. Now we are taking the magnitude here. You have to be a little bit careful with how you distribute your magnitude. So magnitude n squared is already a number. So that's the scalar. Bring that outside the magnitude. The way I am viewing this, we get a scalar in these big parentheses. So I'm going to, you're really multiplying a vector times the scalar right there. So that means I can take the magnitude of the vector and the absolute value of this scalar. Now I can cancel one of the magnitudes of n with the n squared. And p naught p is p see, n minus star p minus p naught divided. And we do have to get the absolute value of this. If you had negative, it's just the distance is always positive. There's our distance formula. So I'll use this in an example. This is between the point two zero one and the plane three x plus two y plus 6z equals 6. All right, so we're given a point. That's p. What I need to do is find p naught. p naught is any point on the plane. And if you think about a plane, there's two dimensions here you can go in for two degrees of freedom or two free variables. I can choose x and y or y and z. I'm going to choose x and y to be 0, so z can be 1. point will be zero, zero, one. I only did that to make it super easy. I could have gone zero for z, zero for y, and then one, uh, two for x. Uh, or I could have chosen zero for x and three for y. Up to you. All right, we need to get a dot product for the distance formula. So P minus P naught is first. Zero one minus zero zero one. Again, I chose these numbers so this would be super easy. Two zero zero. All right. All right. N, the normal vector. We're just grabbing all the coefficients. That's three two six.
Stop product two zero zero dot three two six. Let's write about the magnitude of n. The square root three squared plus two squared plus six squared. So that'll be thirty nine. Hopefully, no, forty something. Forty forty nine, which is seven. All right, the dot product is easy because there's zero times uh, two, zero times six, plus two times three. So we've got six sevenths as our distance. All right, the last thing we're going to look at is angle between two planes. Section I've ever drawn. Alright. We have two normals on these planes. All we want to do is get the angle between the two normals. So one normal will be sticking up like that. The other normal over here, I want to get the angle between the two normals. Cosine theta equals, you're going to dot the two normals, n1 dot n2 divided by their magnitudes, and then take cos inverse of that. Right, straightforward computation, it's not really worth doing an example, but that is how you find angle between two planes.